Hey everyone, my name is Marco and if you enjoy customizing your Android phone then you've come to the right place as this is my color screen and this is an Android lock screen tutorial. Great, so a lot of people have been talking about and wanting more and more lock screens on the my color screen site so here they come and I've got one here that's simply quite mind-blowing. It's by Empol and it is called Halo Lock Screen or Hello Lock Screen. I don't really know how to say that yet, but it looks really good. It's really dark, which is great for the, all those AMOLED screens out there. So it's a fantastic lock screen. It looks really good with that little blue unlock button there that can go either to your dialer or to your camera and especially your unlock button. And it's got that really minimal clock as well as the, your notifications such as your mail and your missed calls and it just looks fantastic. So if you'd like to know how to recreate this lock screen, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so starting out, once you've downloaded that .raw file onto your, either your phone or onto your computer, you want to extract it and you want to copy it into the file. You're going to go to it now. You, it's, you, it's highly recommended that you use ES File Explorer or I like it personally, but you're welcome to use any other file explorer. And you want to go into the data file. You want to go into your com.teslacoil.widget locker file there and you want to select it and then it comes with your three folders here you want to go into your themes and then you want to copy that folder that base underscore ics2 underscore widget blocker theme into this folder very simple very easy to do and it comes with everything that you need right here so once that's done you can begin all you need is the obviously the app called widget locker great app we have a complete guide to it if you're not too sure on how to use it but it's very simple and we'll be going through exactly how to recreate this. Great, so starting from a blank screen, we're just gonna, if you've got any icons or widgets, remember just to drag them into the bin and then you go into your settings button over here. So you're gonna start off with your look and feel and you wanna select alternative wallpaper and then you wanna go select wallpaper. Now you'll be using a black wallpaper, which if you don't really have, it's quite easy to get hold of as you can simply just go into your quick pick or your gallery. And then you can actually just look for that folder you've just copied onto your phone. As you can see, there's quite a lot of different icons here, but you can basically select any one of them and you only want to select the black part of it. So as long as you don't get any icon in there, you just select save. Let's go back and it should be black. So nice and simple for that. Going back into your settings, back into look and feel. You want to go into your layout now and you want to drag this anchor as you can see you can lift it up and then lift it down you want it all the way at the bottom and you want a 12 by 12 grid which is really highly recommended and you want to select save next you want to disable label shortcuts and you want to hide the notification bar you do not need that you're going to go back now a lot of people might get annoyed with this but what happens with widget, widget locker is that if you push your menu button it happens a lot with the galaxy s3 or s4 then it just basically just unlocks your phone and it's quite an inconvenience. So to get around that without rooting your phone, you want to go into your advanced settings, you want to go into home helper, and you want these to be selected. Your home, help, your home helper component, you want that to be selected, and your home helper block home, as well as block home and other apps. So once you've selected those, you should be good to go as just when you select your menu button, it'll just bring you to your main lock screen without actually unlocking your phone. And without reading your phone, it's the best way that I can find. So that is your widget locker settings done. Next, we'll be adding in the custom slider, that little thing up there to unlock your phone. And we'll be doing that now. So to do that, very simple. You just want to hold down on the home screen. You want to select your custom slider. You want to select your theme here. And then as long as you've copied that into your themes folder, it should be here. There it is, your base ICS2 widget locker theme. One thing to take note, you want to disable tablet style handle as that'll make it nice and blue. And then you want to start editing your shortcut. So first off, you want to get rid of this one on the right here. A lot of people get annoyed with it. So you're going to select it there and you want it to be disabled. Boom, gone like that. Now you want to configure these to be your unlock button. So you're going to swipe to your left and that will be your unlock button. So you want your widget locker actions. You want to select that and you want to select unlock. Very easy. Next, you want to select your icon. Great, so from here it got a bit tricky and I'm hopefully doing this the right way so you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I went into my gallery and then just selected my stock gallery as quick pick didn't work too well for this. So you want to go into that folder that you've copied onto your phone and it's going to be, it's, it's sometimes a trial and error. But I find that it's the one between tool mode and the vibrating icon or phone there. So you want to select that one 
and you want to say crop picture using your gallery not quick uh, quick pick as yeah it just went a bit funny so you want to resize it now and then make sure that it's covering the the lock button like that so make sure it's in the center there and you want to select OK and it'll set it for you. So to double check what it's going to look like, you can just select your little icon here and it should appear with that lock button looking good like that. Now, however, for the for the camera button at the top and the phone at the bottom, you're going to be using your files. So we're going to swipe down now and then your widget locker actions, you want to select the dialer. Once that's done, you want to go into your icon and then into your files. Remember files and then your, your file explorer worked very well for this. So you just want to go into your file now or the folder, the folder that you've copied it onto. You want to go into your widget locker skin, your base skin. And then for the dialer, you want to, let's go for dialer2.png. Now don't worry if you cannot see it, that's because it's, it's pretty much out of the screen. It'll be chilling over here. So do not worry about that. Now you're going to be doing the same for the camera at the top. So you're going to swipe up to the top, widget locker actions, and you want to go to your camera like that. You want to go to your icon again, your files again, your ES file explorer or just your file explorer back into that folder that you just found the dialer. So whereas there it is, go back into your widget locker skins, the base skin, and you're going to be selecting the camera one like that. So just to double check that everything's in order, you'll just select done and it should look like that. So you're just tapping it and now you want to get it into the corner there or to the side. So I'm going to hold down, select resize. Now it's like that. So you want it to be pretty much in the center. That looks pretty good. So it's going to tap away and yep, everything is in order. So it is a bit tricky to get around. I found that it, that worked for me. So another method might work for you. Great. So once that's done, you can start adding in your UCCW skins. Very easy to do. You're going to hold down on your home screen. You want to select your widgets. You want to scroll to UCCW and let's go for the four by one. It worked well for the screen. You're going to select four by one. But you can always, you're just going to be resizing it anyway and you want to select use zip. So you want to go back into that folder that you've copied onto your phone. But now you're going to be going into UCCW skins and let's start off with the clock. So you're just going to select the clock. It's going to import the skin for you and it's got a little hand there. So you just need to tap the hand and give it a while. What's great is that that new update hasn't affected this skin as you pretty much can resize it to however you want without getting affected. So once you get it in more or less the correct place, you're welcome to hold down or select away and then hold down on it and then select center back just so it doesn't get in the way of the slider if it does. But that's pretty much your clock done. Next for the notifications at the bottom, you're going to be doing the exact same thing now. Going back into your widgets, scrolling all the way to your CCW, go for another 4x1 as it's just easier to resize. You want to go back into your user and then now you want to select your notifications user as yeah you want to be importing those so same process hold on you can really start resizing it now if you want but when selecting the hand then they should appear it is very dark let's see if we can get a closer look there we go max out my brightness so as you can see it's got quite a cool looking minimal notifications there for your missed calls as well as your messages and that is your home screen done Remember now, if you just want to hold down on each one of these and select block clicks and then do that same to the bottom one and just say block clicks just so you won't be tapping these and something might happen. So that's really cool. And everything works here. You can go into your dialer, open up your dialer, you can go into your camera, it'll open up your camera. And of course, swiping across will unlock your phone. So that's just widget locker. I'm going to lock my phone and this double, you can just double check that it works. And there we have it. So real, real cool, minimal, sleek looking lock screen on your phone. Thank you very much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our My Color Screen channel as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. So this is Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.